And a good Sunday morning to you. I'm Andrea Oliver. Welcome to this edition of Pope County Today. I admit, not everyone wants to be a millionaire. However, I believe everyone wants to be successful. My guest today says, you will only accomplish success through momentum. In fact, it's the name of Ryan Durden's latest book, and it Durden describes how he went from adversity to his journey of success and is here today to share those invaluable secrets. Ryan, I sat down uh, to get my nails done in a shop <laughs> and pretty much read your book all while I was doing that. It is a fantastic read. Welcome to our program this Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is so amazing that uh, you 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 felt something from the book because that's that was the whole point of the book is to to reach as many people as possible and to kind of spread my message and momentum is is the driving force that you need to succeed um, and like yeah. you said not everybody you know wants to be a millionaire but everybody does want to be successful and. Um, this book is a success book, and you can find success in, in different ways, not just money. So that's... Well, one of the things you say, right? one of the first things you say is that uh, uh, perfectionism is a hindrance to success. Mm -hmm. Explain that for us. Yeah, so a lot of people, they just, uh, they, they don't want to release a product because it's not, it's not perfect. Um, and the thing is you have to just get out there and you have to test the waters and you have to um, you know live in the now um, because if you're just sitting around um, trying to make everything perfect and you're not getting things out there's somebody else that's that's putting their stuff out and getting feedback from other people um, and making their product or their service better so you have to get up and get out and just get it done and get it done you talk about the importance of belief and I suppose in the whole concept of get it done, you have to believe that, in fact, the thing can be done. Stress the importance of belief for us. Belief is the starting point. I mean, if you don't have belief, um, you know, in yourself or something bigger than you, then um, you're going to fail. Um, and that's, you're going to, and, the, and the, the thing about failure is you're just, you're not going to, you're not going to prosper. You're going to give up eventually because that's the only way to fail is to give up. So if you're continuing, yeah. you know, um, you know, on your, on your journey, then you'll never fail. But um, if you stop believing in yourself, um, then you're destined to fail. So belief is where it's all, is where it all starts. Um, you have to have belief in yourself, belief in, you know, uh, uh, you know, God, Allah, Buddha, whoever you believe in, the universe, you have to start, it all starts with belief. What did you believe about yourself? I know as, as I shared at the top of the program, you had some adversity. You were really living at one point almost between two states. You, you had challenges, uh, kicked out of the dorm at college. You've had some challenges in your life, but what is it that kept you and maintained you and what is it that you believe that has been instrumental in your success? Um, I think it's my I think it's my drive and the people that I surround myself with, um, my family, um, definitely my kids. Um, my grandfather was a, a former NFL coach for the San Diego Chargers, and he had a really big um, uh, impact on my life because he taught me um, he taught me the law of attraction. Um, the, yes. book, the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill was introduced to me um, by my grandfather when I was 15 years old. And um, he actually wrote out my first set of affirmations for me. We kind of went over what, what I wanted in my, in my near future. And uh, I, said every, I said all those things every single day and eventually they all came true. Um, and then I stopped. And that's when everything went bad, is when I stopped, I stopped uh, doing my affirmations. And um, so I think the, uh, the, where, where I get my drive from um, is from my family, mostly, is my, is my biggest why. So going into uh, college, you know, I wanted to prove to my parents that I can, that I can do it. And now, um, you know, giving my kids a better life than, than what I had. Yeah. 
Brian Durden is our guest today. The book is called Momentum. And before we get out of here today, I'm going to make sure that you know exactly where you can get your very own copy. It's an easy read, and you've got to share it with your young people. Read it for yourself. It will absolutely motivate you. Brian, you have a system you call SMART, S-M-A-R-T, and say it is in goal setting, which is the main ingredient in success. Could you expand on that for us? Yeah, so SMART goals, you want your goal to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. So you want, you want to make sure that your goal is specific. You want to write it down and you want to be very detailed on, on your goal. So you just can't just say, um, I want to be a millionaire. You want to, you want to be really detailed on, on what you want out of that. Um, you have to be able to measure it. So it has to be, yeah. you know, you can't just, it, it's got to be measurable. Um, attainable, um, I'm kind of 50-50 on this attainable thing. In the beginning, I was like, okay, um, everything, uh, all my goals have to be attainable. But now, um, I've actually read this book um, from Grant Cardone, it's the uh, 10X. Um, and uh, he, he's basically saying that, you know, you have to set your goals higher. Um, in order to to achieve, you know, if you're gonna, what's the saying? If you uh, shoot for the stars, you land on the moon yes. or something like that. Moon. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, so Got you. attainable, um, kind of fifty fifty on that. Uh, relevant, so it has to be personal to you. It has to make a difference to you, um, and most importantly, time bound. So a, all a goal is is a, a dream with a date on it. So. Um, it I, I, like, I like the whole thing about relevant because if it's, if it's one thing for me to say, you know, I want to invent a horse-drawn carriage or something like that. Yeah. I'm just using that. That's top off my head. Right. And you, you have to realize we live in the 21st century. There's not going to be a, a much of a market <laughs> right. for a horse-drawn carriage. So I like the whole importance of of, of relevance in, in setting those goals and, and achieving that momentum. Yeah. If they're without action, we cannot generate momentum. My goodness, I love that. Um, what do you mean? Well, I mean, you can't just sit around. You know, knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. So There you go. Um, you know, you can sit there and you can learn all day long. If you're not putting it into action, then it's not going to do you any good. So you have to get out in the field and actually, actually do it for it to work. Um, there's a lot of people, you know, I think that uh, they're really, really, really smart, um, but they just don't have any kind of ambition. And um, if they did, you know, we would have more, you know, Bill Gates, you know, people like yeah. that. But they don't, you know, a lot of people are just smart and lazy. So you have to have. Oh, you know. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> you have to have both. <laughs> Well, you know, I was just thinking as you say that because I went to school with some very smart people and, and in school we revered them mm -hmm. and uh, we went to college and we continue to revere them. But while most of us have gone on to do productive things, they are working on degree number 22,000. Right. <laughs> and they have lots of degrees. I mean, they could light up the world with yeah. their degrees, but they're not really doing anything. And I'm not right. knocking education because I'm a firm believer in it, but I realize that they have made themselves into professional students. Right. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Not, not doing much. Ryan Durden is our guest today. The name of the book is Momentum, How to uh, Achieve Success. It is Ryan Durden's own journey to success. And Ryan, you are very strong on relationship and mm -hmm. its correlation between how, how you uh, navigate this life successfully. So I'd like mm -hmm. you to share that. Well, relationships are, are very important because it's like I said in the beginning, it, it's the people that you surround yourself with. And if you can build good relationships, um, you know, when the hard times get hard, you always have those people to kind of, you know, back you up and help you when times get hard. So um, there's going to be people, you know, in your life that come and go, but um, the people that stay around, those are, the, that's, your, that's your family. It doesn't have to be blood or... Um, uh -huh. You know the people. If you're if you're in my life, you know for over ten years, then you know we're. I consider you family. Um, That's correct. 
And uh, I just think that relationships are key. You know, you have to have a, both a, a work and, and home balance. And, you know, uh, without, and you can't be anything without other people. There's no, no such thing as a self made millionaire. Um, you know, no man is an island. Yeah, it took a, it took a team to get to get that person to where they where they are. You know, so nobody's ever done it alone. Well, one of the things that you said in the book that really uh, jumped out at me because we've always we've always we've heard this and 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 we have kind of used it now as a mantra and and but it really isn't altogether true and 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 you really address that and and it's the whole concept of work smarter not harder mm -hmm. you say we need both definitely yeah so you definitely want to put in the work in the beginning you want to work you want to work your butt off work hard 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 you work day in day out but once you've once you've built up that that yeah, that success you have to work smart to maintain it you can't you know um, there's been people that just uh, you know they work all their lives and they just work, 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 and they're really, really hard workers, but they never look to make the next leap, the next step. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there, there's, there's, there's got to be a balance. The whole life is all about balance. So you can't just be too, you know, one-sided. It has to be, you know, equal. So um, I, I, I just think that, um, you know, balance is, balance is key to, to everything. <laughs> We, we live in a digital age, Ryan, and as you say in your book, you know, you go out with people, they're looking at their phone, they're in their Facebook page, and it's not that you're downing, um, you know, what the digital age is affecting us. You said that we have to learn to use it smartly to be successful and to gain momentum. Yeah, definitely. I'm actually writing my second book right now, and um, it's, uh, it has to do with uh, social media. I'm writing a whole chapter on social media. Um, and it's just it's the new way to communicate with people and I think the the thing that we've lost in social media is um, the power to listen because everybody's doing their own thing and um, nobody's taking the time out to actually listen to what people are saying um, unless you have you know a million dollars and you're putting out uh, Facebook ads everywhere um, or you have a huge following, nobody's really listening to what people are saying. They're just doing their own thing. So um, I think we need to make that shift and start listening to what people are saying on social media because that's the way that we're communicating nowadays. And that's, that's just the way it is, you know? Yeah. Uh, the book is called Momentum. And in it, Ryan says, create leverage, build momentum, and stay consistent. As I mentioned, it is absolutely a must read. It is Ryan's first book that I'm happy to hear. He just he just unleashed it on us. He's <laughs> already working on his second book and, and we're going to certainly be having you here again um, to talk about some of those thoughts and concepts there. But Ryan, if you would, share with our listeners where they can get their own personal copy. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm putting my thumb there. It is a must read. Definitely. So it's um, you can get it on Amazon. Um, you can get it at Barnes and Nobles. Um, also, uh, if you go to my my website, it's uh, www.ryandurden. That's R Y A N D U R D E N. Dot club C L U B. Um, you can order the book from that website, and it'll be a signed copy. Um, and I ship that directly from my office. So. Um, and I'm. Yeah. I'm happy to say I have my signed copy. I'm going to share mine with my uh, son, Ryan. I'm yeah. going to share it with him. He just started out in the business world, and he reminds me so much of you. I'm going to share this with him, but he better give it back to me <laughs> once we get done. <laughs> my book, and I love it. Thank you so much for being a guest on our program today. The concepts and thoughts here, as I mentioned, are invaluable. And if uh, you know, folks will utilize it, get it, utilize it, they will absolutely have momentum and they'll absolutely be successful. It's been a joy talking with you. Andre, and, it, um, it's, been a, it's been a pleasure and an honor to, to be on your show and to, to, to be talking with you today as well. And thank you for joining us. We'll talk again next week. Sounds good.